Hey and welcome to NSX Rack Repair. I would like to introduce you to our new quick ratio manual steering rack for the first generation NSX. Designed and manufactured in the UK by Quaith Engineering, this product has been in development for over two years and the first batch is finally here. When Honda designed the steering for the first generation NSX, they had to balance driver comfort with performance. To accomplish this, Honda developed a progressive steering ratio of 18.2 to 1 in the center and 20.8 to 1 towards the ends. Our new quick ratio steering is fixed to a 15.1 to 1 ratio. This gives the driver a steering response increase of 20%, and since this is manual steering, the effort required to turn the steering wheel also increases by 20%. The turning ratio has been decreased from the original 3.25 turns lock to lock to the new 2.51 turns lock to lock. All right, now let's take it outside and do some testing. All right, so now that the new steering rack is installed, I'm gonna do some apples to apples comparison. Uh, we're in front of my shop on the same concrete with the same wheels and the same tires, uh, just to not have any other variables in there. Uh, I'm gonna use a uh, analog scale. This is one to measure for the weight of luggage. Um, it does have a peak hold on there. Um, so this will give us you know, some kind of idea of what the difference in the effort is on a dead stop. So we'll go from there and, and see how it does. This is sitting still, factory steering rack uh, without the quick ratio. Okay, we're ready. Go ahead and reset it. All right, so to turn it that little bit, that was about 33 pounds. Let's reset it and go the other way. Reset. All right, to go the other way, it's right at 30 pounds. All right, I've got the key in the on position. This is the quick ratio steering rack. Okay, so that's a data point. That's about 40 pounds. Let's reset it. Go back the other direction. It's about 30, what's that, 38, it's about 37 pounds. Let's do it again. Reset it. That one was about 36 until that last little pull, and I got it over 40. Let's do it again, just have another data point. So that one was right at 37 again. So there you go. And so it is a little bit more. All right, here we go. First drive. This is with the quick ratio steering rack installed. Uh, right off the bat, it doesn't feel like it's any harder to steer. Um, but man, the response is definitely improved. I'll also tell you too that. Uh, putting this rack in, we just put the rack in, we did not realign the car, this is just for testing purposes. Uh, so the steering wheel is not perfect, I'll show you that when we straighten up here. Alright, so this is going straight, uh, so you can see we're clocked just a little bit to the right, but it drives straight.
sure the biggest question that most of you have is how is it around town? How is it for a daily driver? Is it harder to steer? Um, how much harder is it to steer? So you've seen some of the bench tests that we did there at the shop. Uh, I'll do some CD driving here just so you can get a good idea of, of what it what it looks like at least. Um, it's hard for me to convey, you know, pressure and steering and all that feeling. This is just, you know, subjective responses. Um, but yeah, so far it, it really doesn't make that big of a difference as far as the effort required. So we'll just take a little loop around the downtown area here. If you already have complaints about the effort required to turn the wheels in your manual steering NSX, then this quick ratio rack may not be for you. But if you are comfortable with the steering, both driving and parking, then the 20% more effort required to turn the wheels is a minimal sacrifice for the improved steering response of this quick ratio rack. From a dead stop, the effort required to turn the wheels is noticeable, but once the wheels are rolling, the difference is negligible. For the performance increase, this is a no-brainer, and I can't wait to see the difference it makes on the track.